The stories of persistence in seeking the American dream never get old. And here's another inspiration in Mario Bazan Sellers. Thank you so much for having us today. So tell me, what brought you? You started in Oaxaca, that's where you grew up, in Mexico? Yes, I, um, I grew in my hometown until 14 years old. And what brought you to California? Well, I wanted to come and um, earn some money to go back to Mexico and uh, uh, have my own grocery store. Oh, really? And you started working in the vineyards? It's the, um, well, I was very shy at and, and that time, and uh, I was afraid to, uh, because of that language, to work uh, in, uh, in restaurants or other kind of business. And because uh, um, I, w I was afraid to, to be exposed to in the field, uh, because I only spoke Spanish also. So that was a okay. kind of safety net. So you started in the vineyards, and over the years you spent so much time really working your way through the ranks from you know literally starting from the ground up it sounds like tell me about your experience with how you really um found that this was your passion i started working you know with the shovel and cutting trees and uh, but i wanted to learn how to be a tractor driver and uh, always knew, learn something new and your first job though was with joseph phelps Vineyard, is Joseph that correct? else correctly, and uh, they were a uh, very brand new company. They only have uh, 30 acres uh, uh, farming. Okay. And uh, and so we start, you know, working with the shovel and yeah, uh, we uh, doing the uh, portable irrigation. In those days, we uh, it was no drip system. Wow. So you brought in all the water by hand. Uh, by or, hand. Well, yes. Yeah. And every morning we had to go in change the pipes to irrigate the, the, the vineyard. So fast forward over the years for me, you've worked for now some of the top names or maybe most recognizable names in Napa Valley. Joseph Phelps being one, Mandavi, Stag's Leap Wine Cellars, Opus One. What, what is it about working in the vineyards that just really rings true to who you are? I was very uh, proud of what I do. So eventually you and your wife Gloria decided to start your own wine label and to basically start kind of putting your own your own brand out there. Tell me about that and how that came about. Um, well, like 2002, I already started kind of having those, having those thoughts. And uh, the reason I didn't start before uh, Gloria came because uh, one of my clients is, oh, you don't want to do that. Oh. And so your production is very small. Um, At the beginning, uh, we only did uh, well, 300 cases. Mm -hmm. And so with keeping it small and, and really putting you know, a focus on the grape quality, which is what you've been known for for so many years, what else can consumers really expect in your wine? I learned working with Stockley Wine Cellars that uh, we walk the fields and taste the grapes. Mm -hmm and um, make sure that, you know, we look at the, you know, make sure that we like the taste, but also look at the seeds that make sure that they are well ripe. Of course, we, we, we live in, uh, uh, I mean, a, a special place here in Napa Valley that it, it, it makes it easier. Uh, but uh, since the beginning, since uh, the beginning of the year when we start pruning, we can start thinking of, of the year and accordingly, uh, Every day I had to be in front of the TV watching the news about the weather. Yes. Yeah, because that's, um, uh, that's, that's how we plan the, the following, the, you know, mm -hmm. predicting. Sure. Yeah, and so it, for, for, for me, that's um, a learning. It's, it's, we, we, we have a not learn everything. Every, every day is a learning experience. Absolutely. Well, yeah. cheers to that. And cheers to your family and your legacy. Thank you so much. And thank you for visiting us. Absolutely. Yeah.
The award-winning wine isn't the only remarkable thing about Mario Bazan cellars. It's the people. Thank you for sharing in their story, and thank you for your support.